Hi everyone, welcome to the Precious Years and today I wanted to show you guys rest of our curriculum for my second grader. So I'm going to get started with social studies. Uh, for social st studies we will be going over, um, it's by Huffton Miffin Harcourt, uh, grade 2, uh, social studies, strengthening social st studies skills with interactive lessons. And this is my first time using this. Um, I picked this up from Lakeshore and the lady there really recommended it as a salesperson so I hope uh, it's something that my kids will or my daughter will enjoy. Uh, basically it's uh, divided up into different uh, units, five units, and the units are neighborhood today, uh, neighborhoods long ago, people work in many places, people make rules and laws, living together in neighborhoods. Um, along with that, my daughter really wanted to learn all the um, presidents, uh, you know, recognizing them by face and uh, naming them, as well as, you know, the number, like, you know, first president was George Washington, second president, and go on to um, current president and to the new president that will be coming uh, in turn this year. Uh, so we will go over that uh, with her, along with she wanted to, like, memorize, like, a important fact about them. So we'll do that. If we have time after that, we will go over um, the states and uh, memorize the capitals. I'm not sure if we'll get to that. I don't want to, you know, um, have too, many, <laughs> too much expectation uh, and not be able to fulfill it. So that's something we will do if we have time. If we don't, I will move on to next year. But uh, with the current year being the election year, I thought, you know, learning the names of the president would, um, would be kind of fun. Uh, so that's what we will do. And then uh, for um, healthy habits uh, for healthy kids, this is grades 1 to 2. I also picked this up from Lakeshore. Uh, this is by Teacher Created Resources. And um, I thought this would be kind of fun. Um, um, okay, so it goes over fruits, vegetables, whole grains, dairy foods, protein foods, healthy food review, healthy habits, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and review that. Uh, we really try to practice healthy eating. Um, you know, my kids know about GMO and the difference between GMO and non-GMO, you know, why we try to eat organic, why we try to eat farm fresh, and why we should get, you know, try our best to get food from, you know, like farm stands and stuff. They understand all that, but I thought this would be, I've never done like a curriculum, so I thought this would be like a good um, introduction to that for them. Um, and then, jumping on to history, we're going to go ahead and give his, uh, the story of the world another try. Last year we tried and it didn't really work well um, because she didn't want me to read it to her um, or read, or read the chapters. But this year, so far, I've kind of gave it a, you know, over the summer I kind of tried. And this time um, my oldest actually enjoyed it um, because she was drawing pictures as I was reading and she really enjoys that. So I thought that she could be, I could, um, for each of the chapters, I could kind of print out something that's related to that. She could color or she could um, draw and um, as I read to them. I'm not going to really be, I, I know that once I do this this year and then after I finish going to volume two, three, four, I will come back to this again when they're a little older. So I don't really want them to, I don't, I'm not going to be quizzing them or testing them or any of that. I just want them to kind of understand history which my daughter really wants to learn. She wants to learn about a long time ago. She wants to learn about Mayans and other civilizations. So I think um, uh, once she gets, you know, the idea of reading these books, and because I'm trying to kind of go through, go shift towards a well-trained mind trait, and that is really a lot of reading and a lot of notebooking. So um, um, we're going to give it a try. And it comes with a... Uh, activity book and some of them we will do some we will save uh, for later um, but yeah so this will be our history and for art um, 
I will be doing art through the Arts for Kids Hub. Um, I will try to incorporate art through our lit literature units. And um, I also got this book that I wanted to give it a try, but it's by Evan Moore. And it's the um, grade one through six uh, artwork for kids. And um, I know that publisher is really good, so um, we're gonna give it a try and see how she likes it. I also uh, pinned a couple websites that seemed good as far as learning how to draw pictures. Um, she's really inter interested in making those, you know, dolls, the peg dolls. So uh, we're going to be doing that. So it's kind of like art and creative, you know, crafts blended together. Plus we get the Kiwi Crate, which is kind of like a art. It includes art and creativity as well. So um, I think that that will cover for the arts. And for critical thinking, for critical thinking, we really use a lot of um, games, and I will do a separate video for games. Um, uh, but other than that, uh, by the critical thinking company, I wanted to use this uh, Mindbenders book two. We used book one last year, and this is book two for grades one to two. Um, and we're going to be using that. And if you want to kind of see, it's kind of like using logic to come up with an answer. And I have the Dr. Do Riddles. It's kind of, you try to read a riddle and try to answer the, come up with the answer. And we're just gonna do it as a fun, um, maybe morning time thing. It's not really going to be like a set aside um, like part of our core learning. But we'll do a lot of games. My kids are really into games, so um, that's something that we will do. Uh, then that leaves us with science. For science, we will do um, a unit study on computers. Um, and I also wanted to make them a tinker box, something similar to that. Uh, my little smarty pants Yvonne made for her kiddos. I want to make something like that uh, where they can kind of have like screwdrivers and uh, odds and ends that we electronics that we're not using. I'll, along with that, I wanted to do an unit study on computers and try to see if, the, uh, if they really understand the, every component that goes into making the computer. And with that, I saw this Osborne Lift the Flap Computers and Coding book. And actually my little one picked it out because she really liked it. <laughs> and so um, that's what we're going to, this is something that I will use along with other um, resources. But it will be a science unit study on that. And then I picked up this computer coding um, by DK um, um, that uh, we're going to go over. Um, we will also use Tinker.com. Uh, we use Bitsbox and um, Scratch. Uh, those are some of the things that we use for coding that kind of goes along with science. Uh, and then I have some additional games. Uh, I'll put it towards the games. Uh, it's the, um, I have uh, the Lego Robotics as well as, or Lego We Do 3.0. Uh, we have that as well as the um, Little Box. Little bits, <laughs> the little bits. Um, my kids really like it, um, and it came with a. Both of them came with teacher manual, so I will um, set aside one day to just. I think on Fridays we're gonna do one project from each of those. And then for science, we are going with a ebook. And what I will do is I will put up a picture as well as uh, as well as uh, put in the description what I'm using but it is the real science odyssey life science and it will go over the animal kingdom plant kingdom human body uh, you know what are living things what are non-living things what makes it living what makes it not li non-living um, that um, I purchased the ebook uh, you can purchase hardcover or ebook I purchased the ebook so that I can print out these student pages I wouldn't have to like photocopy it, it's hard to sometimes photocopy from textbooks. So, in, a, in any case, I have the big projector, so I'm going to be displaying it on the projector and 
Um, it also includes additional resources. You can basically do it for multiple grades. Um, my kids are close in age, but if you have like a um, fourth grader and a first grader, you can kind of make it a little challenging for the fourth grader. So they give you resources for that, which I thought was cool that you don't have to go through hunting for those. Uh, so this is our first year actually using a science curriculum, so I'm excited about that, um, that most of the work will be done for me. Um, also, Real Science Odyssey was uh, recommended by in the Well-Trained Mind 4th uh, Edition book, uh, so I'm excited about that. I was actually, science was one of the things that I don't, th I think yesterday, or actually not yesterday, um, Friday I made up my mind as far as what I'm really going to do. Um, I tr checked out the Elemental Science, uh, Real Science Odyssey, as well as the Mr. Q Science, and the Mr. Q Science is actually free, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll put the link below. Um, uh, it, the life science is totally free and I downloaded it and I was like, oh, maybe I'll just give it a try and if it doesn't work well, I'll come back to it with the Real Science Odyssey. But uh, once I started reviewing the textbook, it didn't really feel like something that my kids would enjoy. So I went ahead and I purchased the Real Science Odyssey and uh, for life sciences and so um, that's what we'll be doing. I actually wanted to do earth science this year, earth science in space. Uh, because we have a plan to um, go down to um, our space center near us in Florida but the girls wanted to really learn about animals that's what their interest is and so I just because I've never done a real um, life science uh, like for a whole year I just thought that maybe we'll just start with that that's what they're interested in that's what we'll do <laughs> that's what homeschool right so that the kids get to pick what they want to learn. So that's why we're going to go ahead and go with um, um, Life Science uh, by Real, Odyssey, Real Science Odyssey. And I will go ahead and put a picture somewhere on here as well as um, the links so you guys can check it out. Um, so that is all of, my, all of the curriculum for my uh, second grader. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment, um, and um, I hope your planning for the new upcoming school year is going well. I am loving seeing all the uh, homeschool uh, curriculum videos that are popping up now, and um, I hope uh, you have a wonderful day. So much for watching. Bye-bye.